this is car number 16 uh, introductory show car so 04g first day production car this car was uh, found a couple years ago here by my father he purchased it off him uh, been parked since 1984 we just kind of got it up and running we put a little bit of miles on it last year just to see if we can get her running but uh, we're getting a few more bugs out of it this year uh, this is the uh, stage reveal car for uh, Central Midwest Canada yeah, it was uh, revealed in October 68 in Winnipeg Manitoba it's got a little bit of a uh, road rash on this side or a little farmer we got it from hit it had a little tractor accident I have the rear window just rolled down or unzipped right now going for a cruise so I like that air blowing through there. Uh, the top doesn't work we had it down there's pictures of it on on these sites these scooper sites here. Uh, so yeah it's pretty well uh, loaded up here uh, they're in the air conditioning uh, it does have the power ventilation uh, this is one of eight that were built like this and so far uh, the other cars that we have seen like this they have all been the introductory show cars so I believe all eight probably were. Uh, this one here uh, went back to the dealer for some uh, extra work. It has some uh, uh, Shelby Ford muscle parts program that they ran. Uh, it's got the aluminum intake, uh, 600 Holly carb, uh, C9 numbers, as well as C90X uh, cam. Serial or the sorry, the firing order has been changed uh, just like the 302 or your 390 would be. Uh, we have pulled the engine and transmission out of this car to verify that it is the numbers matching Windsor, the 16 stamp in the block, uh, date codes are all correct on the transmission, everything, fenders, hood, everything. Uh, so it is a numbers matching car. Uh, the interior is fairly nice. Uh, this, like I said, this car just, it just took a lot of cleaning. Get it to look like this. The door straps are, are reproduction from the West Coast Classic Cougars. Other than that, everything else is pretty well the way it was found. Uh, rim blow horn does not work, so we put a cover on it. And the A track is in for repairs at the moment. Uh, the top's been changed, the car has been repainted. You can see it's had some filler here in it. Uh, so we're going to showcase this car as what it is, uh, being a barn fine introductory show car. Uh, it will undergo uh, restoration back to the way it was in the early 70s with all the uh, performance parts from the Ford Muscle Parts program. Uh, from what I can tell from the research and it, that we've done on the car, uh, the documentation we have with the car, uh, the parts that are on the car, that it was a uh, Controller 2 kit, very similar to the Controller 2, 2 kit anyway, that was, was put on the car, uh, being that it was done at Consolidated Motors in Winnipeg. Uh, these, these are the parts that, that they used. Uh, very cool, it's uh, got a lot of power. This thing might give my Cobra Jet Cycle a little run for the money. Uh, yeah, great little piece of history. Uh, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, keep you updated on its progress.